Thank you, Mr. President. And good afternoon, members of the Senate. Senate File 106. Pretty simple. It's called a coupling bill. And we do this every year. And this year, we are going to be performing our tax code with different provisions that were passed by the Congress on January 1st, otherwise known as the American Taxpayer Relief Act. There are three divisions to the bill. The first division uh, basically deals with income taxes and research activities credits that apply to individuals, corporations, and financial institutions. Division two of the bill is dealing with uh, bonus appreciation, and the final division of the bill is allowing employees of a bankrupt airline uh, some extension time to apply for a refund. Uh, these changes are going to make it much easier for our taxpayers and tax preparers as well as the Department of Revenue in processing tax claims. Many of these provisions are going to help working families, small businesses, farmers. And I'm not going to go through every deduction and credit that is included in the bill, but I do want to give you a few highlights of some of the credits that are becoming permanent and or are become maybe temporary but are there for the next two years. That includes a deduction for teachers, for up to two hundred and fifty dollars for out of state out of pocket expenses. Permanently we are going to be extending a deduction for tuition and fees for education. Uh, we are going to be allowing uh, going up to one thousand dollars for a tax credit for children. If we would not be doing that, that would have been dropping back down to five hundred dollars. Uh, we are permanently extending the child independent care tax credit at a level of $3,000 for one child, $6,000 for two or more. And uh, we are also what we call Section 179 Expensing. And what that allows is primarily small businesses and farmers who take advantage of this uh, to be able to, de rather than depreciate, they are going to be able to allow expensing of the first $500,000 of equipment costs or purchases that were made in 2012 or 2013. That provision alone is estimated to help save those small businesses and farmers about $10.2 billion in this fiscal year and another $8.5 million in fiscal year 14. With that, Mr. President, those are my opening comments on the bill. I believe there is an amendment.